What is up guys and welcome back to Coal Town. Today we will be playing the top five uh, decks for the global tournament and I will be showing you how to play each of these decks to get 12 wins and beyond. Um, I'm going to be streaming the rest of the global tournament past these 12 wins with these various decks uh, on YouTube and Mad Cat uh, like a, maybe a couple hours or maybe like an hour after the release of the video and it'll be left on the YouTube channel as well if you didn't catch it live. Uh, also use code coltonwa 3 if you want to support me. Um, but yeah, let's get into it. So I'm going to be showing five decks. These are the top five one rate decks within the global tournament. Um, and these decks were popular pr pre prior <laughs> to the global tournament as well. They're doing well on ladder. Uh, and the one I did to get the seven wins I'm already at was actually the one I did on the channel a bit ago. Um, I did actually play it with both Inferno Tower and Bomb Tower. Bomb Tower... The win rates are almost identical, but the Bomb Tower one has become the more popular version. Um, really, it's just like, if you feel like you're losing and playing against, um, well, just if you're playing against lots of Balloon and Lava, I prefer Inferno Tower. And I guess Bomb Tower is better in most other matchups. Um, I really like the Zap Bait element of uh, Inferno Tower, but eh, I don't know. Bomb Tower is a better overall defense, so I get it. And if you're against Royal Hogs um, and anything that Splash, Bomb Tower is better, so... Uh, and Bomb Tower is a better defense in general, so that's why it's a little bit more popular. But their win rates are similar. Inferno Tower is still good. Um, it, down, it comes down to preference. That being said, uh, first I'm going to start off with a little bit of a wacky deck. It's a, it's a sparky rage deck that's been pretty popular recently with Heal Spirit as well. Uh, I haven't had too much experience on it, so I'm going to play it first. Uh, and then next, we have this Mega Knight Wallbreaker deck. I've had people ask about Mega Knight decks, and uh, yeah, so this one is the highest win rate, and people have been using it top ladder. The Mega Knight Skeleton Barrel Bait deck is still good too, but this is the one that uh, has a highest win rate and then this I already um, I'm gonna I've already played it I'm gonna play it though um, on on uh, on video and next is a, a new version of giant graveyard that's been really popular with the buff of uh, goblin cage this deck uh, very heavy so you have to be careful but it does have an amazing all-in push and then finally this quick cycle royal hog and skeleton rail deck that just has a lot of pressure it doesn't have um, it doesn't have like a huge push. It has lots of like lots of cycle cards, lots of pressure, and fairly good defense. So with that being said, let's get right into it with the Sparky deck to start out. So this deck's fairly heavy. I don't want to make the first play. Some people start the game with Sparky, but I, I don't like doing that. <laughs> and I don't have a Sparky in hand anyway. Okay. That is an aggressive first play with his uh, his balloon there. So it's an Ice Wiz deck, so he's going to have NATO. We're actually going to kite this other lane. Oh, wow. It sucks that we didn't have Mini P.E.K.K.A. earlier in the cycle, but I don't know if he can stop Goblin Giant, really. Yeah. Um, and actually, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to Rage the Mini P.E.K.K.A. He has no Elixir because he's using it on the Goblin Giant, and he went really aggressive. And because of the Rage... So, a thing that Rage does is it actually makes Tornado less effective um, against troops in general. So, we saw that happen right there. And, uh, yeah, that was crazy. He started the game with Balloon at the bridge, and then somehow I didn't expect a second win condition, but he had a hog. Um, so we're going to Sparky this, and then I'm just going to go with Minions. I don't, he doesn't have a counter with Baby Dragon out of cycle. Oh. I didn't really expect him. It could have been a bad decision to go for uh, offensive push there. I didn't expect him. I thought he was going to go uh, Balloon other lane, though. I didn't think he was going to Tesla. I didn't know he had Tesla at this point. But, uh, yeah, Rage is pretty effective against uh, decks that don't have... Or that have NATO. Alright, so we'll pull this into the middle. Should be no hits, yeah. We'll just let that go. It's not worth, like, defending it and then having him go balloon other lane in the higher HP tower. So I think what we're going to do here is we're just going to start pushing the back on the, the healthy side so that if he goes like over here, we'll either just minions it. Okay. Oh, that was actually well played. I didn't expect a baby dragon like that. So we'll just do this. We'll build a push. Um, I, I, I considered not defending at all, which I guess was the play in hindsight. We're going to rage the Sparky and the Goblin Giant.
That'll be a sparky hit on tower. Yep, there we go. And a heal. And then we're just going to start sparky in the back. This guy's deck is crazy. This is easy. We'll just defend this with Obsidian Musketeer. Honestly, I'm going to rage this so the tower shoot a little bit faster. <laughs> Along with the... See, the I think that rage actually kept the balloon from getting a hit. I just wanted to make sure that there was no way he could defend that. And he doesn't really have a big spell, so I think we're fine just stacking a push. Get the heal spirit down to heal up our goblin giant. And I'm going to get a second goblin giant down. Yeah, and then we'll take either tower here. And we need a three crown here. That's the spark he does. <laughs> so, that went well. Well played. Crazy deck on his on his half, but uh, we took advantage of like, and with like no solid defense, like we don't have like a, a defensive building, for example, you're gonna have to like counter push, kind of the same way you do with like Pekka Bridge Spam. You're gonna have to like n know that you can't defend everything, but know that like you should be able to get strong pushes if they overcommit on offense. So next up, we will be going Mega Knight Wall Breakers, and roll delivered really good, for sure. <clears throat> in challenger right now with how strong it is you definitely should get comfortable with roll delivery in multiple decks um and uh because it's used in multiple good decks you just got to get used to that delay like i've said before uh with this hand um maybe we could have gone mega nine and abandoned but eh, it could be pekka and that could be really bad so here's the roll delivery i'm gonna drop this as soon as i can it ends up hitting but that's not the worst so it is pekka so this is kind of rough for me I just don't think I could have defended with anything else right there. So he's going to peg at this. I can't do anything besides. We'll go ahead and throw down bats. He's going to zap it, but. Oh, didn't expect minions. Kind of messed that up. I'm into the cut opposite lane. I mean, I definitely messed it up. I have to let it hit. Those minions are actually pretty good for him. I thought they were going to end up getting the towel before the P.E.K.K.A. That's fine though. This is a hard matchup, obviously, but um, I could have played better at the start. So we just rolled delivery. This he's not even really like pressuring at like perfect times or anything. I just um, I knew it was Pekka, so I should have played different. Word delivery only allows one bar pit. There, it's pretty nice. Oh, he is. Okay. Honestly, I let the baby drag go because um, it'll just be like equal damage both sides. I'm just going to zap these. I, I can't allow any more damage on the weak side. Ooh, yeah, we definitely pressure here. Oh well, nice. Nice. That was so good. I don't want to play Mega Knight yet. Oh yeah, perfect Mega Knight here. We're actually going to go here too. And then we'll split these to distract. Should pull it other side? Oh. Well, we're going to be okay, but I, I misplayed a bit there. I thought it was going to get pulled to the other side. I need to just play them all in one lane. They move too fast. That's the problem. This will be a good miner. Really good roll delivery here. Nice. So we ended up being in a fairly difficult matchup there. Musketeer is really clutch. Um, I didn't even play that perfect. Um, but we won. So Yeah, definitely like... When they when the peck, I guess so. Usually, when people peck in the back, it's a that's a big thing. Um, when they peck in the back, Mega Knighting opposite lane isn't the play. It's definitely the play to use your your minor your wall breakers, the other things, because that makes them go like even if they defend it, it's like a high e whiz and they waste all their elixir on the defense. If you go Mega Knight, um, 
and, and, and your opponent's good at P.E.K.K.A., they're just going to kite, uh, unless Battle Ram's out of hand, they're going to kite the uh, the P.E.K.K.A., I mean the Mega Knight opposite lane with a Battle Ram, and then if they do it correctly, the Battle Ram, the battle ram actually takes no damage from the Mega Knight, and then the P.E.K.K.A. kills the Mega Knight for free. So uh, if they're good at P.E.K.K., uh, if they're good at P.E.K.K.A., you shouldn't Mega Knight uh, uh, bridge opposite lane, unless uh, Battle Ram's out of hand. So you're better off going with, like, Bandit, these types of cards, uh, for pressure instead of Mega Knight. Could have played that better, but we got the dub, so... <clears throat> All right, so we're going to start this with Hog. Two hits? Because he was late? Oh, no, not quite. If he zaps one night. Just didn't want to leak there. Go night like here. Okay, didn't expect the RG yet. This may be a bit of an over defense, but I actually kind of saved his uh, E Wiz there because I knocked it away from the bomb tower. I thought it was gonna be enough to kill it, but he lived with like one HP. That's unfortunate, but either way, we're in a good position. We get uh, we're gonna get like two or three night hits here. Three, yeah, it's good damage. I'm just gonna wait a bit and then I'll I'll hit as the next one comes out. Oh, there's a zap, so we'll use bats to take care of that. Otherwise, I'm a, a little bit scared that it would have got a hit. Yeah, I think it would have. He committed really hard, at heavy to that. That was weird to play a mini pack in front of the spear gobs. A little bit threatening. Uh, Mini Pekka and Goblin Hunter are both out of hand, so we go Hog here, and he, he's gonna have to like E Wiz. He's gonna E Wiz on top. Yeah, but it's one hit. And he shouldn't have enough looks at RG. I'm gonna actually log this, and then I'm gonna roll delivery so that I hit the Mega Minion as well. I think that was good. And then we'll go with like a low Spear Gob, and then we'll Earthquake. If the RG's in front, that's fine. We'll get bomb tower value on those uh, spear giblins. Yeah, so here we go. Yeah. I knew he was going to zap that, so I was ready with the knight. He's over committing a bit here. We're in such a good position. We'll go with hog here. Everything else I can't play, so... <laughs> And because he played RG at the same time, he probably just loses tower. Yeah. Yeah. If you're running RG, you should definitely probably be using. Um, I don't even think I need this roll delivery, but we'll be safe. Um, you definitely should be using earthquake. Otherwise, you can't really break through. Earthquake or lightning, like either way, you need something that breaks their defenses with RG. And he has, I think he had fireball. If you have like fireball, you would have to have something weird like minor. That's not even weird. That was a thing at one point, like quick uh, minor RG NATO cycle. But I don't know if that would work anymore. So yeah, his deck is really bad against buildings. Kind of a poorly constructed deck, I suppose. All right. So next up, we're gonna go giant, uh, giant graveyard. This deck's all in. Double Elixir's your friend, so don't make first play. Alright, so Musketeer's the best play here. Night Witch, you're just kind of feeding the uh, the Magic Archer. Potentially, I'm going to have to block with a Dark Prince. Let's go here. Oh, well, that was kind of bad by me. Just one tile higher, and it would have been better. It's still okay, though. Ooh, and he misplays a bit there. Oh, he gave us Dark Prince damage. Nice. I'm going to do this with the Hunter dies. That, that Hill Spirit won't really do anything. Our opponent's being really aggressive here. I'll do this to block. Uh, I also did it because his uh, Goblin Cage was out of hand. Hunter's doing a good job for him there. I don't have a l enough elixir to go in too much harder. 
And double elixir, I could have great bearded, but not here. So, this is raw hogs or like RG probably. I mean, it's it's one of those two. I need to play a troop for that. If he goes something, I can goblin cage. I'll just do this to keep it more healthy. I was hoping it had. So I played giant in front. Um, it'll still be okay because bat should kill. Um, but my hope there was my hope there was that uh, the magic archer was going to target one of our bats. Um, and then retarget to the giant because it was closer, but it didn't work out that way. Anyway, though, he's being so over aggressive with his magic archers and single elixir, so it's like we're we're destroying him and damage just from giant counter pushes. He's he's being like he's not even going in with his win condition. He's he's being real weird with his. I mean, in single elixir, he's going magic archers, which end up being an over commitment for for him. For him, uh, this should be a good for us. We'll snowball to knock that backwards. All right, we're going all in here. He loses. He, he's being wait, wait. Look at how over this guy's so over aggressive, guys. And then we don't care that our giant's getting pulled because he, he doesn't have the elixir to defend the giant and the uh, the graveyard here. So we'll, we'll take tower. Yeah, he'll spirit not the best graveyard counter. He, and he's not even going with his win condition. I don't know, man. Like you definitely, there's times when you need to be when you be aggressive with uh, magic archer, but it's usually in double elixir, and it's not like in the situations he's doing it. I guess. But I do have Dart Prince, so um, I do have decent counters, and, and Snowball there is pretty good. Um, uh, like, in s Double Elixir, um, I think his Magic Archers could have been okay, but he, he just went a little bit crazy in single. Um, and then the, even the one that he did code for in double, I don't, I don't like it. Um, because, like, he's going... He's, like, being aggressive, right? So... He'll he'll have like a dark prince that he just played because he was at ten elixir and then he's going like heal spirit behind it and then he's magic archering at the bridge. It's not like it's a counter push where he's up an elixir when he's magic archering or that the magic archer is gonna kill what he's using it on. Like you shouldn't be using a magic archer on your opponent's um what was it like a dark prince or something? He did it on N night witch too, but mm. he was just a little bit over aggressive. He's putting himself behind a lot. And finally, we're going to be going with uh, this version of the Royal Hog deck. He was playing a different version, but this one has actually become more popular. It has a lot uh, faster pace. Um, it's able to outcycle stuff, and it has uh, more than one win condition. I guess Magic Archer is a pseudo win condition as well. Like, uh, oh gosh. Didn't uh, have my Goblin Cage in cycle. That'll be one hit. Kind of a bad... I think I'll go with this. Kind of a bad snowball by him, though. Let's see if we have to use Earthquake. Okay, good damage for us. Pretty awkward defense for him there. So, Snowball Skelly's Knight. This is a weird hog variant. He only got one hit, and now we have Goblin Cage in Cycle, so that's nice. Alright, we'll go Goblin Cage there. A little bit late on me. I should have done that roll delivery a little bit earlier. He, took, he got Knight hits because I was a little bit slow to decide. And then because he's going to have to deal with the Goblin Cage, we'll pressure right side here with Skeleton Barrel and the counter-pushing uh, World Recruit. That's going to tank quite a bit. He has no Skeleton, uh, no Snowball rather, so maybe... Oh, he has Log as well. Oh yeah, we saw him use that earlier. My bad. We're fine if this does some damage, so I'm just going to Skelly's it. It'll do one hit, I believe. No, oh, none? Had to take him damage? I thought I got one hit. Okay, whatever. Maybe I did timing right? I didn't think so, though. Maybe I'm thinking of Electrowids? I don't know. I'm gonna pressure with this. Oh, I actually did it a little bit early because she got attracted there. Oh, well, he ended up using Bomb Tower, so it doesn't really matter. Ooh, I actually blocked it. Nice. She should take care of the Musk. Nice. That was really good. Little bats there. Or just cycle if we need to to get to our goblin cage. I'm just gonna pre-place it, honestly. Oh. Oh, he ended up earthquaking it too, so it doesn't really matter.
Probably should have tried to delay like one more hit. That was kind of my bad. This is a hard matchup for us. He has Earthquake. Um, he doesn't have Earthquake back in cycle yet, I don't think. Okay, he does, but it doesn't really matter. I got one hit actually, so I was wrong. Ooh, I got the skellies. That was nice. Ooh, he messed up. He should have. He had to like must a block. So we'll delivery that towards the middle, so it takes more tower damage. And roll delivery also hits it. Wow, he still gets one hit through that. But we can earthquake cycle, so looks like we're gonna pull out the dub here. <laughs> He's getting ready to defend the hogs that aren't coming. <laughs> so yeah, we don't if they have earthquake, you don't want to pre-place uh, defense. Just earthquake. Nice! That was a hard matchup and we pulled it out. Yeah, so he had bomb tower, fast cycle. Um, he should have done a better job about cycling our defense so he didn't have to use earthquakes on attack attacks uh, there at the end. But there it is. Um, five wins, five different decks, all uh, top one rate decks within um, global tournaments. So I recommend any of them for usage. Uh, and we are 12 up. So um, that'll be enough to get the majority of the rewards. Uh, if you guys are able to pull that off as well. And then there's a little bit of bonus gold. And then, of course, uh, if you're really good with these decks, you can go for the top uh, 50 in the world. That's 28 wins at the moment. Um, I'll try to get these videos out earlier um, in the future. But, yeah, once again, please uh, subscribe if you like the video and want more like this. And uh, leave a comment of any recommendations of videos you would like me to do in the future. And uh, I'm streaming uh, on weekdays now on YouTube and Madcat. So feel free to check that out. And I will see you guys later. Peace.